This is the uh, lake at Boru. Apparently it's actually a beach area. And uh, once again, out there, they're uh, ice fishing. Again. So they're out in the lake. Down, doing a bit of ice fishing. Yeah, it's quite nice. Apparently, it's a really nice beach in the summer. Yeah, it's a nice town. And that's how they get around when they're a baby and um, it's in the snow. It's handy, isn't it? <laughs> Easier than a pram. We're in Tartu at the minute. We've just come across this sculpture of a pig which has got all the different cuts of meat marked out onto there. And that's uh, the list of what those cuts are in Estonian. If you want to uh, get that translated, then I suggest you get yourself on Google and have a look and there's the numbers well you we can see most of the numbers anyway Take number seven's its feet down there i think there's a trotter we're in we are in tartu at the moment uh just down past the pig we took a walk in the market hall uh, have a look around there but it kind of looks the same as our market to be fair so the prices are a little bit steeper. I think we saw a packet of biscuits, which have got 10 homemade biscuits in it for 21 quid. Very expensive biscuits. Mm. Anyway, this is the river that runs through Tartu, or doesn't run through Tartu at the minute. It's uh, pretty much frozen over. We're just going to take, we don't think there's an awful lot here. Um, it's a lot prettier than what Narva is and um, a lot bigger than Narva but we're not really sure how much the town has to offer we look for some things to go and have a look round and apart from an observatory which we're not too bothered about and, uh, and a museum for beer which we're not bothered about that either there's, there's very few things that seem to be worth looking at anyway We'll have a look around and see what we can find. We find ourselves now in Tartu Old Town. It's a Christmas tree in the background. And uh, you might be wondering why it actually says Tartu 2024. when well, we haven't done 2023 yet. Well, I've just looked it up and it's because it'll be the cultural city for 2024 of uh, southern Estonia so there'll be a lot of cultural experiences going on here I don't know what that means cultural experiences but uh, we'll take a little bit of a look around the old town came across these uh, monuments which I'm presuming it's like mother and daughter you can tell it's winter time because she looked very cold I don't know if you can hear Christine giggling in the background there's a quite a strange post box there that says press the button to send your letter to Santa so Christine's going to give it a press and it does lights up and sings music to you Got some ice sculptures here in the town. So, uh, in here. Not like when you're in England, they have to put them in a, a special room. These are uh, just outside. So, well, overshadowed by a greenhouse. A strange little, I think it's like little chill out areas. 
seem to be in there. It's a nice skating rink at the back. We've got some uh, fire pits, which I presume they light at night. Don't know whether they cook anything on them. But, uh, possibly. You get popcorn, the shop in that one. This one's just, uh, I don't know, dangling lights. Uh, different. And uh, a nice skating rink in front of what looks like the town hall. No, oh, actually, it's quite quite a nice little town square, really. Quite impressed with it. Yeah, very different. Never seen that one like before. Very strange. When the kids are learning to uh, ice skate, there's actually, I don't know if you can see it, there look, like a frame that you can have to go around with. If you've got something to hang on to while you go around. How, how cool is that? I Never that. seen anything like that before. We've had mother and daughter. This is father and son. <laughs> it's a bit weird this. So, if you look at the size of son, he massive compared to father. The cold hasn't affected them two either. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's quite very different. Father and son. Just come uh, across uh, a Christmas present for somebody. Some uh, concrete swimming clogs. going to uh, have a look in one of the cathedrals now if it's open. Emphasis on if it's open. This is the uh, cathedral which is called St Mary's Domitian Tartu. It looks a bit uh, run down, not like we usually see on the outside and it's uh, all locked up, the gate as well. So, we can't even get into that one. It just seems to be a bit of a feature for Estonia, to be fair. Anyway, we're going to have a look in a, a different chapel. We're going to take a look at St John's. Yeah, we're going to see if we can get in and have a look at this one. This is St John's. So, we're going to have a look in this church. Um, Looks quite a Norman type roof, very similar to what you see on some of the um, French church roofs. Uh, we, we've come into the church, I think they're practicing for uh, Christmas. The kids for the carols and that. Um, looks like all the whitewashing off the walls has been stripped off and uh, not a lot to see there are paintings around the uh, outsides of the church not what we would call church type paintings uh, and then up above uh, are these? So I'm presuming these at some stage were decorated around the church. Very shame that um, it's missing some of these um, features. I'm, I'm presuming a, a lot of that that was taken down off there and that would have been around uh, 
with these. I mean, there's over 200 of these, apparently. Well, even though the kids were getting ready for practicing for the Christmas service, um, very disappointing in there. Very, very disappointing. Um, them faces and heads seem to have come from there. There's some up there. And if you follow the line round, they're missing. It looks like an awful lot of this has been renovated. An awful lot of it. So, anyway. Oh. Oh. Oh, you've done it now. Okay, although we've not been that impressed with the church, it is unique in North Europe, uh, North Europe because of its rich terracotta ornamentations. There's more than a thousand figurines and the high relief wall design. It, it is consecrated to John the Baptist and was the first mentioned in historical documents in 1323. And uh, there's some more of the figurines. So there's, there's 200 inside. There's an awful lot that are still on the outside and I suppose you could say there's an awful lot that are missing. But this is what it's famous for. Uh, actual inside the church, we, we, oh, well, I personally thought, was quite disappointing. Not what I expected. Although the spire does remind me of the like Norman churches in front. This street is a very important street because when the cars are parked on this street there's no farting <laughs> so no cars farting for 15 minutes or 15 meters I think this building is a, a theatre museum or a puppet theatre and uh, I've got these engraved on the in the wooden window covers and uh, look at that for a sign above the uh, door so like a puppet theatre this is the uh, old cathedral which is uh, now pretty much destroyed but it's actually part of the university now. So we might go up and see if we can have a little bit of a nosy round inside. I don't really know what happened to the cathedral, but it looks like it was a very spectacular building when it was uh, intact. Um, And the arches and everything inside look like could have been quite a building in its day it doesn't actually tell us anything about how it finished up like this uh, except it was uh, the main cathedral or church for this area and uh, when the Russians were here in 1558, they uh, took the last bishop um, to Russia, where he died. So, whether it fell or started to fall into rack and ruin then, I don't know.